Hey guys, welcome back. My name is Mehul and in this video, I want to discuss something which I recently came across and that is some, a new project by Google called Flock, which is Federated Learning of Cohorts. Now, you know, with Facebook and, you know, cookie tracking and all that stuff, there's a lot of cry going out on privacy and, you know, not allowing third party websites to track your cookies which basically results in the fact that advertisers are not able to give you more detailed targeted advertisements, right? That's, that's the crux of it. And why does this matter? Because if you are receiving a targeted ad, for example, let's say you have been wishing to buy a backpack for a couple of days, and then you see a Google ad showing you a backpack, you're more likely to click it and buy it, right? And if you do that full transaction, Amazon gets paid at the other end. Google gets paid because, you know, uh, Google figured out you clicked on the ad. And Amazon, because it got paid or any other business, you know, they would, they are likely to put back more money, right? All right, although the dynamics of how exactly this whole surveillance advertising business works right now today with the help of cookies and tracking, is complex it's not a simple thing they use very smart hacks and very smart ways to track you all the way on whatever website you're browsing but the point is that given enough effort from a company and you know of a sized company like facebook or google you know google has recapture on every single website which requires recapture more or less and facebook lets you embed a like button or a share button on your website so if you have that, these companies can pretty much narrow you down to your identity. That means they are able, although Google.com does not own CodeDam.com technically, but Google still knows that this guy or, you know, you visit CodeDam.com, then you visit maybe like Free Code Camp, a bunch of other websites. So they are able to profile you as a learner, right? So they classify you as somebody who's trying to learn programming or whatever it is. And then they maybe they just show you a, you know, an ad for programming, ebook, whatever, a subscription for some website. So that's 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 the essence of it. But cookies, third party cookies, which is a tracker information, one way of tracking information is going away. And that means that Google is or, you know, any other website for a matter of fact, for example, Safari, I think already blocks third party cookies. So sites like Google and Facebook and these advertiser, big advertiser websites will not be able to narrow down people individually, right? So what Google is coming up is something very interesting and probably controversial. It's called Flock. So Flock, I have read a bunch of articles on this and understood the technology. It's basically, if you go to web.dev and Flock as well, in a nutshell, what Google is trying to do is instead of categorizing you as the user it's going to categorize your browser as a whole right so your browser consists of all your browsing activities so you see like I, like i told you that google can categorize you as a learner for example and show you a programming ad it's still doing pretty much the same thing with flock with the exception that in this learner group now it's not just you it might be just thousands of more other people right and Google somehow has created a cohort that means a, a particular federated learning cohort. So this cohort, this flock group will actually consist of behavior depending on, you know, people categorized by behavior, browsers categorized by behavior on how they're browsing websites. So for example, if you just browse a lot of kids website or, you know, newborn baby products, something like this, then you probably might be categorized into a flock of parents or, you know, recent parents, whatever. If you are just learning about programming, learning about coding resources, that stuff, then you might be into that flock of learning to code, right? Um, how does that help? That helps in the sense that now, obviously, they are not able to track you down individually, but they are still able to serve you targeted ads. That's, that's the solution for Google. But there have been, you know, concerns on this by Electronic Frontier Foundation, obviously. 
And EFF is definitely not happy. They actually mention on the website as well that we are happy that Google has finally decided to restrict third party cookies in Chrome, which already happens, mind you, by default in Safari. But the last thing it should do is introduce a new tracking technology, which is exactly Flock, right? So it's just a one level above in the sense that now instead of categorizing on an individual user basis, you're categorizing a cohort of people, right? So you are completely, you know, uh, categorizing people in a, in a collection or categorizing browser or browsing activity, as should I say. So that's it, that's Flock. And you can access Flock with the help of JavaScript API right now as well. First of all, you can go to I Am I Flocked and check if your browser actually has Flock enabled. Mine, unfortunately, does not. I would have loved to play with the JS API as well. I think there are some flags you can launch Chrome with to enable that, but I've not really gone that, that deep right now. But uh, if you go ahead and take a look at here, that is how you access a Flock ID. So there's basically, you know, every flock has a given ID, which identifies what the flock category and what, what, what flock exactly the user belongs to. And then there's also like the version of, uh, you know, whatever the flock version is. As you can see, you can start it with a couple of flags and it'll enable flock for you in that case, if it is not automatically enabled by default, which is, you know, probably not because it's just 0.5 percent of users um so yeah if that's not the case you can enable it with a couple of flags and try this snippet out and it should work now the final question the final thoughts is that what do i think about this personally and i'm sure that you might have your own opinion your own perspective on this but i believe that targeted advertisements is necessary for these companies um, to stay free, right? So to keep their products free. I mean, obviously there are exceptions to this rule in, in the sense that, you know, for example, DuckDuckGo, for example, DuckDuckGo, when you search on the DuckDuckGo site, it actually takes your search um, query and then tries to show you a targeted ad around that. That's completely fair and fine. But Google's ad network is not only just spread or Facebook ads network is not only just spread across, uh, you know, their own website, but to multiple other publishers as well. And for them, they need to know who the user was, who the user browsed before, right, in order to actually target them with correct advertisement. And if they do not do that, obviously the you know click through rate would decrease the relevance of advertisements would decrease the advertisers would have to pay more for you know gaining visibilities that means they would they will be having a higher customer acquisition cost that means they might be putting lower or no money at all and that means that google and facebook and these companies might lose revenue in in terms of advertisements right so yeah, I mean, it's it's a tough choice. People say that, hey, privacy and, um, you know, I just want to make sure my data is safe and all that stuff. But would you be willing to pay, I don't know, something for every Google search? Or would you be willing to pay for something? I mean, you would be, but do you think most of the world could? Um, I think not. And even if they could, I don't think that they would want to pay after already paying for internet and then paying more for different, different services, which can be supported by ads and which can be supported by your own data if you just allow them to use it for targeting advertisement. And of course, I'm all in for, you know, not selling for your data to third party or anything like that. I'm all in for that. But I do believe like... um you know, this is something we should discuss more um, in, in terms of what is a good solution. And uh, yeah, I mean, I'm not completely agreeing with Google or Facebook or anything, but I understand their position and their stand and uh, why they need targeted advertisements in order to keep their services and their core model free, right, for majority of people. And that is important. So yeah, that's it for this video. I hope you like this. If you did, let me know in the comments below, what do you think about Google's flock new 
targeting advertising model, not really advertising, the tracking model. And uh, what do you think about Google and Facebook and these ad policies in general? Super in- excited to know your view on that. And I totally respect any opposite view as well. Completely fine. I know there are people on both sides, but would love to know what you think about this. That is all for this video. I hope you liked it. If you did, make sure you leave a like. Thank you so much for watching. And I'm going to go ahead and see you in the next one.